In the media today, headlines like these, are common, not only over fishing, but also concerns about food safety, and the toxins and residues from pollutants and drugs, as well as the issues of fraud. And today in Alabama, a seafood executive was jailed for 13 months for his part in a mislabeling scam. As consumers, these issues affect us all. Honey, what would you like to eat? I was thinking of sushi. Or fish. But didn't you just do a new segment about seafood fraud? According to Oceana over 30% of seafood is mislabeled. Yes you're right. Not only that, how do we know if it's sustainable? Let's ask the waiter. Yes madame. How can I help? Waiter, where's your seafood from? And, is it sustainable? I'm not sure. Let me get the chef. I'm sorry but I don't know. I will check with my supplier and get back to you. This is not good enough. Overfishing. Fishing gear. Bycatch. Environmental destruction. Slave labor. Certification. Yes. So, what is a certification for sustainability? To be certified as sustainable, a fishery, or farm, must have data, have a plan, and be able to demonstrate compliance. With sufficient data, we can be confident about whether a population is stable, if it is increasing, or, if it is decreasing, and, whether there is good environmental stewardship. Next is a management plan to ensure that data is continually collected. A plan must have resource, people and tools. Finally, there is compliance. This is where we ensure plans and regulations are being adhered to, and penalties applied if not. So, with data showing good stewardship, a plan and compliance, fishers and farmers can be certified as being sustainable by NPOs such as the MSC. ASC, Global Gap, and BAP. Armed with this new information, the chef meets with procurement. Yesterday we had a VIP customer who asked about the sustainability of our seafood. Please inquire with our suppliers and try and get certified sustainable seafood if you can. Hey Johnny, sorry to bother you but the seafood you supply us, is it sustainable? Is it certified? Can you get us some if not? Okay okay. Let me see what I can do. Everyone listen. We are getting heat over our sustainability credentials. Apparently a reporter came to eat at our restaurant and we couldn't tell her about our seafood. Yes we are very sorry about that boss. We're on to it and we will only be buying sustainable seafood in the near future. What about our governance, risk, and compliance? Are we part of the Global Reporting Initiative? What about our environmental social governance status? All these are important if we are going to attract socially responsible investors. SRI screen over three trillion dollars in assets a year for this sort of thing. Yes we aim to be compliant to all those things you mentioned. In fact, by this time next year we are going to be serving only sustainable seafood, everyone. Make it happen. It's been a month. What have we got? Not much. Our suppliers haven't been very helpful. Most are way out of our budget, or not in the spec you have asked for. Well just get me what you can. Chef, did you ask for me? Yes. The fish is terrible. I cannot use it. I cannot get the prawns anymore due to EMS disease. You need to get me sustainable produce I can work with. Boss we can't get the products we need through our regular channels. Well go direct then. Hi Paul. Do you have any fish? Sorry. Storm's here. Couldn't go fishing. Yes but you are going to have to take all sizes and quality. Sorry. All my fish just died from a disease. Try wholesaler. Okay sure. You need to buy minimum one ton. I only can't supply for these months. And I don't have a chain of custody certification. Chef, for this product we have to buy a ton. We can only buy during these months. And we cannot use the logo or tell people it is sustainable. Ouch. Okay. Just do it and get out of here. Okay, let's do it. I'm sorry but there's been an earthquake, a nuclear meltdown, a fire, 
a coup, an ash cloud, a terrorist attack, a pilot strike, a snowstorm, and a flood. I, 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 I can't take it anymore. That is not good enough. These sins have become more common in the seafood and retail sector. How did it come to this and how can we change it? As the world's population grew and became more urbanized, fisheries near major cities were overfished, many collapsed, requiring seafood to be sourced from far off locations. As we have seen, NPOs, like the MSC, aim to reverse such trends by certifying sustainable fishers, allowing use of their eco label, and empowering consumers to reward them. However, Traceability is critical through the supply chain to ensure that product that is not certified, isn't mixed with certified product. Therefore, the MSC also has a chain of custody certification, for processors and distributors that are able to track and trace produce through their supply chain. But with globalization and less resource, these supply chains have been getting longer, more complicated, and more convoluted making them harder to regulate and monitor and although mass and social media campaigns by NGOs have created demand for eco-socially responsible, sustainable seafood, opaque, inefficient, inequitable, and illegal supply chains are not meeting the needs and wants of stakeholders, shareholders, and ultimately you as a consumer. This has to change. And it is the power of information and communications technology that will drive that change. See our next installment to learn how that will occur.